So finally, after many, many, many months, we have some progress on the office. Back in September of last year, the basement was flooded and just ravished in general from Hurricane Dorian. I lost a lot of stuff, the walls, the floors, all that good stuff, and it really, really put a damper on making these videos for you guys. So stay with me, come along for the ride. I wanna show you guys a little bit of an update on the progress we've made on the office so far and just generally how I shoot these videos and what I use to help me out. Stay tuned. What's going on guys, it's Quasi Dog here and like I said before, we're just gonna do a little bit of an office tour here. We're gonna see what's popping, what I've got set up, what I've done, what I'm using and just overall filling the curiosity for you guys more than anything else. Um, before we get the tour started, I wanna go over the color. You guys probably see it behind me. It looks a little overexposed, um, but that's purposeful. Um, and this was actually help from two YouTube creators online, Becky and Chris. So this is actually uh, Benjamin Moore, a uh, designer white, and I wanted something that would really bounce a lot of light. I only have one small window here and one small window in the back behind the camera and it was really, really hard to light everything evenly for video. And it caused some stair stepping and grading because of 8-bit codecs and different things like that. So I wanted something that I would stand out from a little bit, uh, but it would just generally be easy to light. And that's what we've landed on right here. So if you guys wanna grab this color, Benjamin Moore, designer white, hope that helps. So I'm gonna step to the side as best as I can while staying in the frame here and hopefully still capturing audio up top with my Zoom H1, which I guess is one piece of equipment that I'm using. Uh, camera, by the way, is actually the Sony A6100 and right now I'm using the Sigma 16 millimeter uh, F1.4. Uh, great, great kit. Oh man, great investment. Beforehand, I was using a Canon M50, but unfortunately, the flood ate that too, so new camera time. I know, terrible, but great investment. Absolutely love this thing. But as we kind of itemize this corner over here, we have just a couple of little acolytes in the corner. Uh, so right in the middle is my 2014 Team of the Year Business Impact Award from a previous employer. And then on either side of that are the 2017, 2018 top performer trophies from my current job, my current position that I hold. So those kind of remind me to just generally do good in whatever I'm doing. I'm very proud of those. So I wanted to put those up in the office. Below that is my G Fuel Shrine. Um, much more of that stuff to come to. I uh, absolutely love it. If you guys don't drink it, you probably should. I was big into energy drinks and honestly, because of that and just poor habits in general, I gained a lot of weight uh, when our baby was a baby into early infancy. Uh, so this is just a really good zero cal option or very low cal to get me peppy, get me energized and just kind of helped me on a better track of keeping healthy. Since then I've lost, I think I've come down from 210 to about 160 right now. Not to say that is the deciding factor, but you know what? Who can go grab a monster at a convenience store and not grab chips and a chocolate bar, right? That was, that was my advice. So G Fuel, awesome stuff. Absolutely love it. Sponsor me. Uh, from there, I've got a Google Home. This is actually the Nest Home Mini. Uh, the red colorway. I just wanted to kind of add a little bit of a splash of color. I have a couple of black ones and I have a couple of chalk or white ones, but I just wanted something to pop a little bit. Uh, over here, this is just like a bin of randomly assorted goodies. Um, camera cards, camera readers, tripod mounts. That's a smart plug. Uh, so just little odds and ends that I don't want floating around. And then kind of coming over here, as far as we can. I just have some Funko Pop bobbleheads. Honestly, I found those at my local dollar store, so my 99 cent store. Thought they were kind of cool. And then up here, just a couple of things to help me kind of create these videos. So I have my RAV Power uh, battery charger with two batteries. I have my lav mic, which I still need to get a battery for. And then I have my windsock for my secondary microphone that's capturing uh, just in case audio, which is my Rode Video Micro. Uh, the headphones that are right here, 
These are the Superlux uh, 668Bs. These are open back headphones. Love these things. I used to use these a lot for gaming and a lot for editing when this was more of a communal space. Now I kind of just use my speakers. So these are just on the wayside, really in case I need them. And then controllers, I have a Steam controller that is mainly for looks because let's face it, who uses Steam controllers? And just an Xbox 360 controller for if I'm playing Game Pass or anything like that on my uh, monitor or on my computer. Uh, the desk itself, this is probably, whoo, other side. The best view that you guys are gonna see of the top of it right now with the least amount of clutter uh, so this desk, you probably saw it in a video previous, uh, but my father and I actually built this desk. It's about 10 and a half feet wide, and it's mainly just two by fours and some chipboard, but I had the idea of actually using uh, vinyl, uh, luxury vinyl planks. So this here, this barn board looking flooring is just that, it's actually just flooring. It just sticks down. And this is completely waterproof, which is fantastic. It's pretty scratch resistant. And just overall, it gives me a nice low sheen, low maintenance countertop. And this whole desk only took, I think about 20 square feet of material, which I mean, that was 40, 50 bucks, but you'd be hard pressed to do anything any cheaper out of real wood and really get these results. Um, here, I don't know if you guys can see that in the monitor, I keep kind of checking. I'll show you guys in another angle what I'm using to actually stop my wrists from kind of getting irritated right here. Um, but it's actually a pretty cool solution and something that I think a lot of other people should probably use or could use that I don't think I necessarily thought of it, but I hadn't seen anybody else doing it and I think it could catch on. I think it's actually a really cool solution. So we're gonna get a little bit closer to that, but we're gonna move the camera and we're gonna kinda keep working our way over as best as we can. And we're just gonna do this in one take because I don't wanna splice multiple points of audio. All right, so sitting down was probably the best angle to do this, but I wanted to kinda show you guys the middle of the battle station, kind of what makes this tick. So continuing again to go from left to right, we have our speakers. So. These are Edifier bookshelf speakers. I'm gonna have some annotations with actual model numbers. And Edifier sent these to me quite a while ago. I featured them in my old setup video and I absolutely love them. They push out a decent amount of sound. They do actually have their own little independent remote too. So I always have to, or I, I sorry, I don't always have to use my uh, taskbar or hotkeys on my keyboard to adjust the audio. I can really just do that on the fly which makes it really easy when I'm recording content like this, I can just grab the remote and hit the mute button and there's no worries about a Windows update coming up and disrupting the audio. Uh, from there, I just have a little wireless charger. We have this guy here, which is actually cool. I don't know if you guys can fully see it in the video because again, we're, we're a little hot on our exposure, uh, but this is a light from BenQ. And the whole purpose of this light is to actually shine directional lighting straight down onto your work surface without casting it onto the monitor itself. So it will cast out, there's kind of like a little door or a little reflector here to make sure that it doesn't touch the monitor. And this is just the controller. So I can control the temperature, whether or not I want it very, very warm or if I want it very, very cool. We can also press one button here and we can do the overall intensity of the light, if you want it really bright or a little bit dimmer, or with another button, there's actually an automatic mode. And what the automatic mode will do is assess the lighting environment in the room and try to give you the best overall um, lighting scenario for, for what you need and what you're doing. I typically just have it on bright white, just for video, I find it the easiest. Um, monitor itself, this is a 34 inch ultra wide, a great monitor. I don't think I could ever go back to just a traditional like 16 by nine. Uh, the only downfall with this monitor is it is only 1080p and I do find that I can see the pixels where I'm sort of this close and the monitor's this wide. I should have held off and I should have got something that was 1440p but lessons learned and overall, I still really enjoy this. It's overclocked to 75 Hertz. It is free sync enabled as well. And I just love gaming on it. It's absolutely fantastic.
Uh, it is actually also on a gas spray arm. So no matter where I put this, it can kind of go up or down wherever I need it, which is great. Uh, this desk, if I were to stand up right now, is a little bit higher. I wanted to make sure that one, I compensated for the flooring when we put the flooring in here, but two, it wasn't really on purpose, but I, I, I'll say it is because I kind of enjoy this feature. It's just tall enough that I could really use it if I wanted to as a standing desk. And with the monitor, I can raise it up and I can tilt it. And now I'm gonna be able to stand up and get some work done. So put that back down to where I had it before, sit back down and we'll go over the keyboard. So this is the uh, Logitech G512, I believe it is. Again, annotations will be down below to let you guys know exactly what it is. It's a per key lit R RGB uh, mechanical keyboard. It's using their uh, proprietary switches and this is the tactile switch. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but decent little bump, decent little feedback. My wife hates that it. it's way too loud for her. so. Another reason why I wanted to get the setup down in the basement. And then I also have the G602 wireless mouse. Now, the super cool thing about this keyboard as well is it actually has a USB 3 pass-through. And I'm using that pass-through for the actual mouse dongle because running at 500 hertz, though they say there shouldn't be any interference, um, it's almost line of sight. Like I really can't get this mouse to perform very well if it's not somewhere in very close proximity of the receiver. So to have that right in my keyboard is fantastic. Uh, desk mat, just a desk mat that I got from Slick Wraps uh, back when I used to do some affiliate work for them. And then if you guys can see it a little bit better because I can't see the monitor up there, um, this is that padding that I was talking about here. So this is from a company called Kid Cushion. And the purpose of this padding traditionally is actually to make sure that you can wrap it around hard corners or 90 degree edges on tabletops to help keep kids and young ones safe. Uh, so there was quite a sharp corner on here because of the vinyl plank flooring. And I couldn't really find a solution. I didn't want to use wood. Um, I didn't want to try to bend like a, a piece of iron or stainless steel or something that would be far too expensive. And the purpose of this desk was to do it under like $150, which I think I actually accomplished, which is crazy. Um, so this was 20 bucks. It came in a roll of 12 feet and I just rolled it out, cut it with a utility knife, used 3M tape, stuck it down. And honestly, it makes for like the perfect wrist rest as well, which I absolutely love. Um, as we go through, you'll notice as well that the desk is actually all the way back against the wall. So I, I made it flush for a reason, one for structure, two for looks. So I had to drill uh, different holes in every location. So I, I did one over here, I did one by the speaker, one for the monitor, one over here, and then one at a frame that I'll show you guys after. Um, and then I used the uh, cable grommets just to dress it all up. And it actually, it turned out very, very nice. I absolutely, Love the way this looks. And if I inch ahead, we're still rocking the Pulse Labs chair as well. So this is the Guardian chair. This is actually the Gen 2 model. My Gen 1 is over there, but the Gen 2, couple nice things is the actual lumbar cushion is now fixed to the back of the chair. You can raise it up and raise it down. But the other one, if you caught my video on that a while ago, I'll link it up in the cards above. The lumbar support pillow would just kind of free fall and it really didn't make sense. So Pulse Labs took the feedback from that review, engineered this and it works way better. I'm not gonna change the angle or anything, but the base of this unit as well is uh, powder coated black, which is nice. So those you have to order separately, they are a limited run, but it really, really makes everything stand out and makes everything look so much better. Uh, so let's change, change angles again and let's take a look at the PC. All right, so this is the PC that I built back in November of last year, utilizing all of the fantastic Black Friday specials that were going on. 
And this is all brand new. It was a replacement to the PC again that I lost in the flood. The only thing I was able to salvage to save some money was my GPU, but this eats 4K rendering for breakfast, especially compared to my old FX 8320 from like 2012. Uh, so the chassis itself is the Corsair Spec Delta. Um, beautiful case. It does have some um, frosted or tinted uh, tempered glass for the side panel. Came with one black 120 mil fan in the back and then three RGB fans in the front. And not only did I like it aesthetically, but price-wise, I think it was like right around $80 with the four fans included, which I really couldn't find any comparable value out there. So very happy with this. Um, processor, I have the Ryzen 7 2700X. I had considered the 3600, but I really don't need the little bit of extra in like the single to dual core processing power. I really wanted as many cores as I could get for running like the Creative Cloud and everything all at once. And it really hasn't let me down. Uh, it is rocking the Wraith Prism. Over here for RAM, I have 32 gigabytes of DDR4. A little bit slower, it's 3000 megahertz, but I picked up each two dim kit for like 65 bucks taxes in. So I really can't complain at the small amount of difference. Um, it doesn't overclock well, so we're not gonna touch that. Um, the card is an MSI GTX 1060 six gigabyte uh, twin frozer. Uh, Gaming X, I think is actually what it's called. And then other than that, uh, the board itself is a Gigabyte Oros B450 Elite. Um, the one down from having like the, um, the Wi-Fi and stuff like that. I just, I really didn't need it. So I saved a little bit of money. And then under the basement, we do have a Corsair CX650M semi-modular power supply, a couple of lights and stuff like that to overall dress it up. And cable management was an absolute breeze in this machine. Um, other than that, uh, if I can switch gears and pull you this way, uh, we just have my little networking nook. Uh, so this is the TP-Link C5400X uh, gaming router. Fantastic router, one of the best I've ever used. I do want to try to get my hands on the, I think it's the 6000X and then there's the 11000X as well. Um, they actually have Wi-Fi 6 and a couple more advanced features. This one was like the best one they had last year. They sent that out for review and I'm still rocking it, still using it. And then we just have my ISP modem over there. Still rocking the old one because the new one doesn't have bridge mode and those guys play very nice together. So that's kind of from, I guess, left to right, my full setup. I'm gonna try to come down here a little bit. Um, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Um, I'm very, very glad to be back in the space and to try to be productive again for you guys. Some of these videos are going to be just on the fly, talking, no script, no real idea, just it is what it is. So if you like that content, stick around. I will have some upcoming content that's a little bit more scripted and a little bit more purposeful when it comes to like reviews and different things like that. So you guys know where that subscribe is, you know where that bell icon is. So hit those if you wanna keep notified and up to date with kind of what's going on on the channel. Uh, until next time guys, my name is Quazy Dog. You guys have been awesome and we'll catch you all in the next video. Take care.